Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back. I'm your host for this evening, Lance Shark Rose. And if this is your first time tuning in or you're returning back, I hope you guys enjoy the video that we have planned for you guys today. So with that being said, we are playing some Pokemon Scarlet. This is episode four of the series, and we're actually finally going to the Academy. Now, before we get over there, I know, I know. We're going to be taking a quick look at our Pokemon. So you got Fletchling, Swirly the Sprigagito, Parmy, and then the new Wooper. All right, and we got a Kar Karadian. So, let's get it cracking. Let's get on over there. Welcome. Appreciate you. Wish I had a Pokemon. Nice. Is that my boy, Pelipper? Yo, what's going on, Pelipper? You know about Pelipper? Hell yeah. That's the OG homie from Ruby. I'm um, not Ruby. Yeah, Ruby and Sapphire. I was going to say Ruby and Diamond. Not the same. <laughs> that is not the same. South Province Area 1. Now, I'm not going to lie. Bro, look at all these hop it. Yo, yo, so they're trying to trap me, bro. Are we gonna risk it for the biscuit? Oh, yo, this stayed right next to the Pokeball. Look at the upside. Yo, come on, baby. God damn it. All right. I think this should kill. Wow, Fletch, you got a super effective! Yo, Fletch, yo, Fletchling's nasty, son. Bro, it was one peck and he got clapped. Alright, so we're gonna take, we're gonna be over here. We're gonna try this. Grab a potion. There's the Lechonk, but we really don't want Lechonk to turn that boy to a piece of bacon. What's this? Ooh, is this a TM? It is. Swift. That's not bad. Bro, I don't know why, but that bug Pokemon is a me Oh, hold on, Lechonk. Yo, I was out here trying to talk about the bug Pokemon and the menace to society, and then Lechonk out here trying to bulldoze me. I don't know why. This man needs to stop. I don't like it. And we got an Ether. Let's go. I think that's Spupa. Who's that? Was that Hoppip? Oh, yeah, it was. Hoppip out here flying. And there's another Pokemon Center right next to the Academy. I think that's kind of badass, to be honest with you. So you know what? We're just gonna go straight into the cat. Uh, been having some nice battles. Who's this guy? Hold on. Hello there. I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles. Well, good news. If you can defeat four trainers here in Area One of the South Province, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far, you defeated one trainer. Okay. Okay. That's actually not bad. But I'm not gonna do that right now. Cause you know what we're gonna do. Guess this is it. This. I mean, for you. Not for me. <laughs> Not for me, because we're going into the academy. You already know how it's supposed to be. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then will I find my dad here? <laughs> like, or a land shark? I'm just trying to find my dad, Demona. I'm just saying. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you all you all have learned in a battle? Ooh, are you serious? Are you serious? We're doing another battle? Alright. Alright, shorty. Right in front of the academy. Imagine if like a Dragonite just comes out like, nah, y'all fighting me now. You're challenged by a Pokemon trainer in Nimona. Quaxly, I should have brought out Spigagito. To be honest, I should have brought out my Swirly. But you know what? Fletchling is gonna be yo. Fletchling is gonna be on that Quaxly pack, bro. I'm coming at you with two Pokemon. Oh, he's level eight. Oh shit. He got Water Gun. Oh, but my man's normal. Yeah, that ain't working. Okay. Um. I'm gonna swap out to Swirly because Swirly is a menace to society with his leafage and he has bite too, so that's good. Pound? Damn. Alright. This should one tap. Should. Well, it's not gonna one tap because, I mean, and it's leafage, but I don't know. <laughs> You really will got work your tight matchups. I can tell how badly you want to win. Come on, bro. Water gun? What you doing with the water gun? Stop it. You see what I'm saying? There you go. Dead. Easy. Shmoney. Sniper. That's how we do it out in these streets, man. 
Oh wow. Call me. Oh, you know who can you know who we can send send out? My boy Whooper. Yo, my girl Whooper side. Ah, look at him. 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 So adorable. Well, all this bomb me though. Ooh, level nine. Hit him with a mud shot, Whooper. Battling you is a blast thing. I better pull out my ace in the hole. Pawn me? Pawn me gonna get fucked up. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what is this? Nah, hold on. Terror stylizing is always a solid strategy. It gives moves. Okay. Thundershock. Ah, it doesn't affect Wooper. Ah, get, 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 bitch. Get rock. Look at you. You look like a light bulb. You look like a light bulb, Palmy. Don't even try to talk to you right now. Get out of Skedaddle. Critical hit while nice when I have a hard time trying to land those. Aha, skedaddle. Look at you. Bro, look at him. Homie's a giant light bulb. And that's how you power play it. Get out of here. Get out of here, son. And it was another crit, too. Oh, there's that. That should level him up. It didn't. God damn. Bro, I just beat a, ter a terror stylized whooper. I mean, Palmy. What is this? <laughs> What's this supposed? Amazing, look at you taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning. No problem, because I'm just that goaded. I'm goaded with the sauce. Because the thing of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. Oh, thanks, Nimona. You're so good with Pokemon battles. I figure out how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Well, I've been playing for a couple of years. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyways, it was fun to battle you here. Have some revives as thanks, bro. I don't even need a revive, though. That's the thing. I don't even need it. Because we out here. Now, Mezagos is waiting just past this gate. At last, the city where our school is. Alright, let's go. There's tons of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm going to take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. Oh, say less. So we're finally getting into the academy. 12 years later. Three episodes later. You know... Four times the charm is what they say. And as for me, I don't know what we're going to be doing. God damn. Ooh, this is nice. Nice and fancy. I know I've, I've been hearing that a lot of people don't like the, uh, like kind of like the quality after the academy, especially in like the open areas because it just runs so booty cheeks, but we'll see. Hopefully we can get there this episode. If not, we're going to be there in the next episode. <laughs> I hope that we can make it though. I think we can. I think we can. Oh, there's the Mona. All right, here I am. We finally made it, huh? Yes, sir. This is Mezagosa, the biggest city in Paldea. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty food and fixings. Ooh, what kind of fixings? Yo, yo, but what y'all got? Y'all got that Cubano? Because you already know your boy needs some. Your boy's hungry. What do you want to see first, Land Shark? The tasty food. Uh, the tasty food, because, you know, I love food. I could always fuck with the food. I didn't have you pegged for a big eater. Well, you ain't pegging me at all, so get out of here in the morning. But that's smart. You can battle well with the growling tummy, right? Yes, sir. And speaking of battling, I want to be sure that you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, Land Shark. There's a few things that I got to get done uh, for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Oh, thank you so much, Nimona. I appreciate you. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. Oh, there's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you got to see Deli Bird Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Deli Bird Presents. I wonder. I wonder what kind of items they have. Like, all they got is Everstones. It's like, you know what? You Deli Bird. How about that? 
Just be ready. The stairs are up to the school or right over there. That's a lot of stairs to climb, son. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. Can I change my hat? I really don't like the hat. What's this? Mama, I had sent great depth to your past. You must have seen much in lot and lives gone by. I guess that your rotom phone to appear into the past lives you lived. I call it rotometry. Care to try? I feel like I just botched that word. Ah, your past is just before my eyes. I see a life you once lived. Oh, where is this? Galar? Sino? Oh my god. I'm good, actually. Galar, Sino. I'm gonna say Galar. It's coming to, coming into clear focus in this previous life. You once tread the grounds of Galar. I see you facing down enormous challenges in the Galar region with equally enormous Dynamax Pokemon at your side. Allow me to fashion for your Rotom phone a case that, be that befits your memories. And there. Your case is finished. Carry it proudly. If you wish to plumb your memories for more past lives, come speak to me again. That's kind of dope. That's dope how they reference different like regions. So let's see. Can I look at it? Yo, we got 16 Pokeballs. I didn't even buy anything yet. We got Swift. We got Mankey Fur. Ralts Dust. That doesn't even sound right. That does not sound right at all, son. Whooper Slime. Ugh. Uh, so if I use the... Okay. Master Landshark, this hardly seems the time or place. Well, you know what, baby? You know what? Don't talk to me like that. What's this? What's this over here? Hello and welcome to the Gopher Broke Grill. Wow, the Gopher Broke Grill. Fruit, yo, look at the fruit punch. Ooh, speaking about fruit punch, we're actually drinking some juice right now. You know what I'm saying? We're drinking some of that good, good. We're drinking some cran raspberry juice mixed with some Sprite. Absolutely delicious. Oh, they have different... Okay. Egg power, humongo power grass. I'll get a po potato tortilla. I'll pay with cash, yo. Let me, let me get some of that por potato tortilla, baby. Ah! Ooh, look at this. Yo, my man. <laughs> you good? Yes, sir. Maybe, maybe, right? Our dad is a chef at this restaurant, and we can see him here. You must have been hungry. Come back anytime. You worked up an appetite, eh? I guess not. I can't, I can't go inside. Maybe my dad's not in there after all. We're gonna find out our dad. It's like we're gonna find out where our dad is right now. So with that being said, we're gonna just head on up and we're gonna see what's gonna be going on. There is a Pokemon sign on the left too. Uh oh, what's this? Who's this guy? Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Who's this guy? Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? I don't know. With, sound, with, with a name like Team Star, it doesn't sound too menacing. Not really. Look, we've got a quota. We're supposed to fill up for new members, so just sign up already? Damn. Um, I'd rather not. Uh, imagine if I walk away. You want in on this too? <laughs> yes. If you're going to sign up, we'll get, we'll get to you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us, but you knew that, right? No. Oh, another ignorant little nobody. Nobody knows who you are. You're just a grunt. Get out of here. I'm finally part of Team Star, and still I get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. Jeez. And hey, we just can't listen. Like, you know, if that was me, honestly, I wouldn't let that slide either. I wouldn't let that slide. Now, me personally... That's just ain't it. That that's that's not what we're doing here. I don't know if our team's on the line, so we got no real choice but to battle. Yeah, that's true. You keep watch on that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. Okay.
I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of lame. Is <laughs> that a shrewdle? What the fuck is what the what is a shrewdle? I'm gonna peck it. Oh, okay. So it's not weak to fuck. It's not. It's not ineffective. But it's not that strong. I don't know what this is. Uh oh. Get that shooter out of here, baby. He wasn't ready for it. He wasn't ready for the fletchling, baby. Get him out. Send him packing back to the lobby. Swirly wants to learn home claws. Ooh, okay. I see you, Swirly. Home claws is actually kind of nasty. Give it a tail whip. There we go. Look at us, y'all. We just defeated the Team Star Ground. They weren't even ready for me. How come I'm the one seeing stars? Because you suck. You suck. You're garbage, bro. Why is it nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. No way. He beat you? Does that mean I got to battle this kid now since I'm a, I'm higher up on Team Star's ranks? Yes. Pero, pero bueno. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh, it's the student council dweeb. <laughs> Damn. Who's gonna report us if we don't book it? I can't believe you, Land Shark. You don't have to go find Randall's to battle. You'll have all the battles you ever need with me, yo, Nimona. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that wrong way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Oh, no. No. <laughs> nah, we weren't doing that. Of course not. No. Well, that explains it. As I of the student console, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But it's also the perfect uh, chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift to you. You obtained the Terra Orb. Ooh, okay. An orb that holds within it the power to crystallize when it is charged with energy it can be used to cause pokemon to terrestrialize all right i get it i get it i get it with this terror orb you can terrestrialize your pokemon during battle let's see after it terrestrializes i'm pretty sure your fletching will be a normal type that sucks normally you've got you got to take special classes to be able to get one of these terror orbs but i put in a good word for you wow nimoni what a go Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with his terror Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Yo, stop it. Nimona's not even that good. I mean, she. I bet you she has other Pokemon. Well, she does have other Pokemon, but still. She, they ain't ready. They ain't ready. Young Goose. Oh, Young Goose turns into Gumshoes, if I'm not mistaken. So, if I terrestrialize this Pokemon, right? If I terrestrialize Fletchling. And I hit him with a quick attack. I wonder how much damage he's going to take. Ooh! Whoa! Like, may the power of Christ compel you! I'm not going to lie. The, the design for that is actually kind of lame. Okay, that's a lot of them, are you? Oh no, I'm so scared. I'm so scared of Young Goose. Get out of here, yo. Pack him. Pack him. Smoke that Young Goose pack, baby. Smoke that Young Goose pack. Send him back. I was actually kind of dope. I feel like I got a level of Pommy and Wooper and Fletchling and Ember. Let's go, son. Let's go. Yo, look at her dancing in the background. Like, what are you doing? I'm here for the moral support. You know, dancing moral support. Your Pokemon burns so bright. Yeah, pretty much, bro. That's what happens when you want to face the land shark. The mighty land shark. Stop it. Nice land shark. You pulled off terrestrializing. No problem. Moves of your Pokemon's terror type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know? Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose terror type is totally different from its usual type. That's, that difference can open up your strategic options. 
Gotta charge your Terra Orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hasta la, hasta la vista? Hasta la vista, baby! Or hasta la vista, I get what they mean now. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. Also, they're just like delinquents. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them from what I hear. Oh, um, excuse me. I just want to say, uh, well, thanks. Appreciate you. So yeah, see you around. All right. You already know he's like a main character too because of the way, like, the hair color. It's always the hair color, son. I'm telling you. Look at you, Landshark. Already become a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though, would love that fluff. Anyway, it seems like the trouble died down, so we better book it up to the school, get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. What if it be Demoto? Go to school, Naranja Academy, Mezzagoza. Let's go. Now that we're finally in the academy, I've got to get a new notebook. Oh yeah, you know what? I got to get some school supplies. You know what I mean? Mom never went back to went to the back to school shopping sale, and now we gotta pay stuff at full price. It's rough out here. It's rough out here in these streets. Imagine if like your dad is one of the professors, like, dad, dad, look at you teaching, teaching here at the academy. Hey, what up? Here we are, Landshark. Welcome to Naranja Academy. This here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those are halls up to the side lead to all different parts of the school. It's only big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason, they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. It just in the main entrance, though. You can battle in the cafeteria if you want while people are eating food, or even in the bathroom when you're out here trying to take a fat dump. You know what I mean? All good stuff. Master Landshark, Miss Nomona, how did you find your first school commute? We had a blast. Imagine Miss Nimona's high spirits held with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Sure, she is. Not that I was expecting anything less from our champion rank student council parent. Is it reliable as ever, Miss Nimona? Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Landshark? Sure, sure, sure. Okay. But speaking of which, we saw some some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Oh, where? It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an EV pack back. Uh. Landshark flexed on him and ran him off. Yo, we flex. We flexed our big boy muscles. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student, Master Landshark. But you might wish to show a bit of a strain as you find your feet here at our academy. Ah, no. And Mr. Nimona, do remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles. Alright, so we gotta get to class now. We're in class 1A land truck. Come on, I'll show you the way. Say less. Oh, look, look at this! Woo! Look at this! Who's this guy? Good morning, mister. Yo, why is everyone moving like that? Oh my god! Hello, hello everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? I want to hear the news. Yo, what's up with my man moving like like a two-bit character? I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. Bro, look at... Oh, my, okay. Now I can see why people don't like it that much anymore. Oh, my. All right, you can come on in. Is your boy Landshark? It's like, oh my god, I know his dad! Can I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Sure, I'm Landshark. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know Land to know you, Landshark. Alright then, who wants to be the first to ask our friend a new question? Me, 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 can I ask a question? Yeah, what up? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Uh, well, you see, I like everything about Pokemon, but me, specifically, um... I just like battling with my Pokemon because it's just amazing. 
I'm totally the same. Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Me, I have a, Yo, she asked if she wants to battle. You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Land Shark. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? My dream is to be the Pokemon champion and actually figure out who my dad is. You know what I mean? Um, with these red eyes and this white hair, obviously, you could tell I didn't get the genes from my mom. So we're just out here trying to figure out who our dad is. It's crazy. I want to be a strong trainer. You will be. Oh, I just know it. You and me, we're going to get so strong battling together. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Landshark. I'm Mr. Jog. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. Jacquess. That's, that's your seat second row from the front. Oh, my God. Yo, my man was lagging. How are we lagging, sir? How are we lagging? All right, you rag muffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. Why are you calling me a rag muffin? We will, Mr. Jog. Yo, why is everyone lagging? You guys, I know the academy campaigns by exploring a bit on your own. Later. A biology class. Okay. Go to staff room. I don't like how you can't walk about in the academy. That's kind of annoying. Well, even in the shops, too. Huh? Who's this? Who is you? Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on, count on me. In fact, I bet this is going to be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Who's this? Oh, pardon me. Ooh, yo, that's got to be your sister. That's got to be. Oh, Landshark, hey. Who's that? Piqued your interest, huh? That lady is, well, they... Call her La Primera. Whoa! <laughs> she's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me. Remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. No, I don't want to. Oh, wow, hang on, though. I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here it goes. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so we got to go to the Pokemon League is what you're saying. To do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You got to take on eight Pokemon gyms. And win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the champion assessment. So it's not even the champion battle, it's a champion assessment. What is this? What is this? And once you pass that, then at long last you'll become a, what is it, a practical exam, bro? Yo, I'll tell you what, she sure does talk a lot. <laughs> Yo, Nimona's out here talking. Anyways, I got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map in case you decide to go for it. Say less. So, you mean to tell me? Wow, son. She literally just Venmoed me the gym. The Pokemon gym locations have been added to your map, so... It's normal, water, bug, psychic, grass, ice, and electric. That's actually not that bad. That's not bad at all. And victory road. This is weird. Give us some thought. I didn't even explain what victory road was. It was just victory road, y'all. Okay. Where do you want to go? All right, so let's go. Let's go to the cafeteria, see what all the hubbubaloo is about. Someone's battling over the last freaking drumstick. Who is this? Oh, is that the guy that I met earlier? It is. Oh, hey, so we meet again. That's our video. You remember me, right? That's my little, that's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? No, 
Not really. No need to tell me your name, Landshark, right? Old school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. We're not even a celebrity, or right? Don't get smacked up, though. You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Happy to help. What kind of little maniac says yes to something without even knowing what they're agreeing to? Me. Me, baby, me. What's good? Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is I'm all about this picnic life. The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Perfectly prepared sandwiches are just, a, are just a magnificent, all right? Perfectly prepared sandwiches warms the heart. I'm sorry. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that will help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herb of Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that help heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herb of Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've, they've been powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging. Bro, so we're out here finding the mystical powder? Ah, I don't know about this one, doggy. This might be an actual long episode just to get through the academy, to be honest. And then the next episode, we're probably going to be going out into the open and catching Pokemon and trying to figure out what we're trying to be doing. You know what I mean? And go from there. That's where the actual journey begins. It took us almost like an hour to do this. Well, this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs because sea titans are well i think they've got to be things like this why hello there okay is that dom fan that's what it looks like that's that's exactly who that is that's dom fan a member of the survey team got to this photograph by chance i noticed as dom fan you know? look at me with my big brain be I do want to get to get to those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. <laughs> don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. Now, I've never hear the end of it. I went crawling to that student council girl. But here you waltz up. You got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Yes. I should have said no. Like, you know what, Arvin? I don't even want to talk to you right now. No, boy. I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans in your map for you. That's a dope case. I like that case. Tell me why Pokemon out here got that narrow Kami case. All right, so we have Dragon, Ground, Steel, Rock, Flying, which kind of makes sense. You know, it's like the different elements and stuff like that, especially where Ground, Rock, and Steel makes sense. Okay. Path of Legends. I'm guessing these are the different, like, routes you can take because I heard that you can take, like, up to three routes and stuff like that. So you can do Victory Road, Path of the Legends, and I'm guessing there's a third one, but I don't know what the third one is. A bag of Stardust? Yo, hold on a second. Hold on, yo. Let, let me find out baby girl how you give me a bag of Stardust, yo. Give the idea some thoughts, some serious thought, please. I got you, buddy. Alright, so the last thing that I need to do is go to the math class. Oh, pick up the phone, baby. Hide at your home, baby. This is Landshark, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I can talk to you. Hope you don't mind. My name is Casapia. But never mind that. It's, it's you I want to talk about. I heard you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask you. Tell me, Landshark. You know about Team Star, right? Yeah. It's like, you know what's crazy? Like, you know what's crazy? Landshark, I, Casapia, is part of Team Star, and your dad is the Team Star leader. Imagine that. Imagine that. Landshark lore, bro. I'm telling you. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. That's actually kind of dope. I'll need allies to carry out this operation. I'd like you to be one of them. Yeah, sure. You'll be able to find your dad. <laughs> like, no need to reply right this second. We can discuss the teas meal some other time. Till then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Is is that the second one? Is that the last mission? Ah, Master Landshark. Ah, Clavel. 
Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Bro, this is a cafeteria, not a library. Fuck off, bro. Fuck off. You don't want anyone else overhearing any per personal information? Honestly, there are so many things we need. Like, like, yo, look at my man, son. Look at my man. He's like, yo, fam, I don't give a flying buck, bro. I don't care. I don't. Team Star, you say. All right, let's see. Ding, dong, dong, ding. Oh, boy. Like, land shark, come to the main. Oh, there it is. I told you. I told you. Come on, son. We already know how that goes. Master Land Shark, to the director's office, please. So, bro, I was about to go take a nap, so I'm going to be honest with you. I'm about to go get the chopped cheese down at the cafe. But now, now we gotta go. Look at Starly lagging. Yeah, I can see why people don't like this game at all. Look at this. Bro, this is some Pokemon black and white graphics right now. Get out of here. Is this it? What is this? Director's office. Oh, so that's how it works. No, no. Now you look at that. Thank you for coming, Master Land Shark. Have you been enjoying your time here at the Naranja Academy? No, I want to go to the Violet Academy, bro. I want to go to the Violet Academy. That is most wonderful to hear. Now you've been wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cab. But let me assure you, there's a reason why I asked you to meet here in my office. It's because I love you. I know who your dad is, bro. I know who your dad is. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. I'm guessing that's Casopia. Well, where is he? <laughs> Hello, you. Oh, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in the room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect this. Now I gotta fuck. I gotta find this HDMI cable, man. So I give you one second. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Oh, look. Is that Casapia? Hey, hey, hey. Short. Hey. <laughs> Shorty. Oh, I say hello, Landshark, and it's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within Great Center of Haldea at a site known as Area Zero. Isn't that where one of the time Pokemons are? Right? The professor, the professor, in fact, a graduate of our final cabinet, as well as a splendid researcher. Yo, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Want me to get straight to the point, yo? What you doing after Sada? Hold on. Land Shark student ID number, yo. How'd you find out my ID number? You're the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Karateon. Is that correct? Yes, I do. Thank you. I appreciate that you are honest and confirming the facts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Teach, professor. I did not mean to defend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Assistance? Ho ho! Oh, how good to see that you're well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Oh, you see the professor. Karateon was once in my care, you see. Okay. As Pokeball was originally mine, I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask for you. Will you continue looking after Karateon on my behalf? No. I'm actually going to sell him to Petco for like 800,000 gold. Bro. I do appreciate your agreement. Karateon has been re greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. But I gave him a chopped cheese and he felt 20 times better. My man was out here fighting Houndooms and Houndors like it was no tomorrow. I'll provide you with my contact information if you would please get out your phone. No, I don't like it. I'll be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Now, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I told that, yo, Sada. Hold on a second. Pick up the phone, baby. 
Run out your home, baby. Because this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero. So what is this, Area 51 type stuff? Sada, don't tell me you actually did it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She probably did something that she wasn't supposed to. Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that karate. Yeah, sure. All right, so... With that being said, I think, you know, we're going to try to get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Just over here, Lance, trying to get in into the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble already? <laughs> so funny in the moment. Mr. Jock wanted me to show you the way to our room in the school dorms, y'all. Your very own private room, Lance. Truck. Let's go check it out. All right. Say less. She's like, actually, like, the most like, actually, I'm actually spending the night here, so, uh, you know what, this is actually not that bad. From today on, this is your room, Land Shark. Yo, why is the kitchen designed in, like, Kermit colors? I just, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy, and you must be pretty worn out from all of this stuff happening on your first day. A quick rest on the bed is all you need to get your, yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. See you tomorrow when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. Yo, relax, Lamona. I'm just trying to vibe out here. Alright, hold on. So before... We're gonna take a... We're gonna take a quick rest. See how this goes. So that way we can go out and actually start our journey in the Pokemon world. Ooh... That's actually kind of dope. I like that. I like the design. Then at the last day arrives for your true adventure. Oh, and then at last. I thought it was like the last day of school. I'm like, bro, how fast the time flies? Like, you know what? Game over. You already graduated. Good luck. Have fun. Yo, please tell me you didn't. Uh, bro, why are you up in my house like that? Why are you up in my dorm? It's time. It's time. I've been waiting for forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. All right, yo, relax. Yeah, I don't like how you can't move about. I don't like how you can't move about with the school. I don't like that. At all. At all. <sighs> As you will, the theme will be a treasure hunt. Let's see. Let's see what we're we talking about here. I ask each one of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. Okay. Yeah, you all have learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it's time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Was that the gym leaders right there? Explore Paldea's abundant nature, soaking in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live there, this Pachirichu, Amoongus, Ducks, and get to know the people too. Nah, fuck that. Uh, will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you, and we'll be, be able to help you too. You will journey together, learn new things together, share each other's thoughts and feelings. I don't think so, because I'm not doing that. I find something you might always treasure. Hence why it's called the treasure hunt. <laughs> I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study, when you will return to us as a fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunts begin. Onward. Finally. 12 years later. We're almost at an hour long. Alright, yeah. We're gonna need to uh, wrap this up. I didn't think it was gonna take that long. But, now we know for the next episode is gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot of things that we can do. A lot of things that are gonna be opened up now. So that way we can go out, have some fun. Who is that? What is that? 
Come on, Cyclozar, we're heading out. Take care, everyone, and remember the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. Guess where we're gonna be going? The Caldea. <laughs> like, what are you waiting for, Landrake? Let's go! Alright, so, with that being said, with that being said, alright, y'all, we're going to save this up. And I know this was a longer video, but we just wanted to get the Academy part out of the way. So that way in the next episode, we can tackle everything and anything that we're actually going to be starting on Adventure 4. So with that being said, this has been your boy Landshark Rose speaking. Treat every day like a Friday. And I'll catch you guys later, baby. Take care.